Good morning, welcome back to science class And today we will discover more about acids and also alkali And we are using a lot of uh, apparatus here I will mention one by one The first one, uh, we have beaker, beaker glass And then um, we have the filtered paper here and we will shape it into cone okay and then uh, after this we are having the funnel and we also have the conical flash and then we have um, mortar and also pestle and then we have the measuring cylinder we have also the measuring jug here consists of water and we have the pH paper and this one is pH meter so this is the digital technology of a how to measure pH it will show some numbers in the screen later on and we have three kinds of soil so inside the beaker we have uh, three types of soil soil one and then soil two and also soil three okay so Miss Sigma already find this uh, soil thank you Miss Sigma okay now we will go to the experiment the first one we will pour the soil into the mortar okay all the soil from soil one and then we will crush using the pestle okay we will uh, make sure all the particles become soft wait a minute i will remove the plants It's become more softer and now the next thing we will pour the water from the measuring jug into the measuring cylinder 25 milliliters or more okay so it's around 30 milliliters the first water we need more water actually it's around maybe 50 milliliters and then pour it again yeah and then we will mix the water and also the soil Okay, then now we will move the mixture into the beaker, the small beaker first, here. Okay, wait, let me grab some instruments or help. Okay, and we need more uh, water actually. Pour some water. Add another twenty five milliliters here. Okay, so it reached around hundred milliliters. Okay, this is the first soil. All right, after we already mixed the water and the soil, and it reached a hundred milliliters now we will pour the mixture into the funnel and let's wait for the filtrate paper works completely so as you can see 
the water is slowly going down from the filtered paper one drop of water are going down from the funnel and yeah we have to wait until all the mixture are completely filtered the bottom of the conical flash and if you can see here is the gradation of color meaning that it has it's actually the water and then the bottom part is the soil particle okay and this for soil too i think uh, it also have the soil in the bottom but the color of water is a little bit different it's darker than the soil one and then this is the soil three it's almost the same with the soil too, but yeah, let's wait for a minute. using the filtrate paper and we already have the uh, solutions here so this is the water without the soil particle it's already filtered before and then we will pour the water from the soil one into the beaker so it will be easier for us to measure the pH so this is soil one and then this is soil two if you look at the color it's little bit different from one and each other and I think it's also because of the characteristic of each soil it has different characteristic this is soil tree right now we will use the uh, pH paper first to measure the pH of each soil okay I will take uh, one strip of the pH here Keep it here and let's wait for the 
changing of the color okay, I think it's already changed let's measure and compare it with the pH pattern okay so this is the soil one and if oh sorry it should be like this we will compare okay so I think it's six yeah it's six yeah the pH is the same with pH six okay so this for soil one the pH is six oops okay and then we will go to pH two I mean uh soil two okay we will take one strip we will dip it here Oh, the color is very different with the first one. Okay, let's wait a moment. Yeah, I think it's already changed. Okay, and then we will compare with the pH uh, value from the box. Okay. Yeah, I think it's already changed and let's see the difference oh it should be like this again okay so i think it's uh, okay it's near 10 yeah but the second box here is little darker so i think this is 11 11 yeah yeah i think it's 11 okay so for the soil Number two, the pH is 11. And then we will take the last pH paper. We will test it here to soil tree. Let's dip it for a moment. Okay, and then see the difference of color. Okay, let's check for a minute. So this is the color of the soil tree. Okay, it's not in this area. Okay, so I think it's six again. Yeah, so we have two soil that is six. The pH is six. Okay, now we already finished with the pH paper and we will check one more time using the pH method. This is the pH method. Okay, let's make it on. And if you can see here, the normal one, I mean the neutral one, it will be comes in um, zero, I mean in the neutral position, seven. Then we will dip it into the uh, first water, yeah, first soil, number one. We just dip it here so the pH will be shown in the screen. Okay, let's check. Okay, it's shown 7.9. Oh, 7.8. Yeah, I think it's 7.8. Okay, so this is from the pH method 7.8. And then we will um, clean first using the distilled water. Okay, so it's already neutral again. Okay, and then we will dip it into the second soil, soil number two. Okay, let's dip it. Oh, it's 9.7, 9.8. Nine point nine. Okay, it keeps increasing. Yeah, I think it stopped already. Yeah, so the pH. Oh, it's ten. Okay, it's increasing again. So let's wait until it stop. Then uh, that's the number of the pH. Okay, 
Okay, I think it's stopped already in 10, so it means the pH value from the pH meter is 10 for the second soil. Okay, let's wash the first using the distilled water. And then let's dip it into the third one, the third soil. Okay, let's check. Okay, it's 7.9. I think it stopped already and uh, it shown 7.9 okay yeah so we already get the result for the third soil and uh, we already done with the measurement of the pH uh, by using the pH uh, meter this one and the pH paper okay so guys uh, that's all for today's experiment I hope you learned a lot from today's experiment Thank you and have a nice day everyone. Bye!